What up YouTube, I'm back, so we finally got a new key visual and trailer for the Kimetsu no Yaiba Demon Slayer movie, we've been waiting for that for a while now, ever since the end of season 1, and it's one of the most anticipated movie in the anime community, or at least the shonen community, because it's one of the most popular animes out there, and the first season uh, went out in a bang, you know, so... Uh, I just couldn't wait, I just can't wait to see that movie, you know, because it's going to be animation movie quality, so it's going to be even better than what they did in the weekly series, you know, so I really can't wait, but yeah, man, we got a new key visual, obviously the movie is Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer, Nungen Train, and it's going to be basically the whole movie on a train, I'm I'm, I'm guessing, you know, so that's gonna be cool, but we got a trailer and we're gonna discuss everything that happened in that trailer, the thing that I think are the most important to talk about, you know, so let's get right to it. So first of all, in the trailer, we saw Inosuke, we saw Zenitsu, obviously they're gonna be important character in this movie, you know, because we saw how strong they got uh, since, you know, the mini training arc at the end of season one, you know, they're gonna be really, really important character and we're gonna see how stronger they got from that training, you know, so they're gonna be important, but I don't think they're gonna be the most important part of the movie, obviously. Um, the only thing that I want to see is how strong they got, then there's also Nezuko obviously she's always with Tanjo and I'm wondering if we'll see her fight in that movie because I don't think we've seen her fight a lot you know in the Kimetsu no, ya no Yaiba uh, series so far because we saw her fight when there was the three demons that looked alike and then we saw her use her demon blood art you know on one of the 12 Kizuki but that's the only time that we really saw her fight you know so i really want to see more of nezuko maybe she's gonna be able to use her blood demon art in that movie maybe we'll see her fight so that's one of the things some of the things that i want to see nezuko do in that art we also got to see that demon right there obviously we know that he's one of the lower tier 12 kizuki members he's the only survivor of the lower tier 12 kizuki members because rui was killed by gyo and the other members were killed by kibutsuji because they were too weak basically you know so he's the lone survivor and he got some more blood from Kibutsuji so he's even stronger than he was before so we're gonna see how strong he's gonna be in that uh, movie I think his job is to kill maybe Tanjiro or maybe to bring him back to Kibutsuji I'm not so sure about that but you know I don't I don't think he's gonna be the main villain of that movie there's a demon that we saw at the end of season one that seems to be the main villain you know he was on the train it seems like he was killing people and he had multiple eyes or something like that i'm not i don't remember exactly well but i don't think that the demon that survived you know uh, the rat of kibutsuji is going to be the main villain of that movie We've obviously known that Rengoku, one of the current Ashira, was going to be one of the main characters from this arc, you know, in the movie. Uh, we saw him at the end of season one, you know, with his own promotional, you know, movie thing, you know. So we already knew that he was going to be important in that, in that movie. I still think that he's going to die in that movie. I, I don't know why, but there's something that there was a discussion between him and shinobu i think that made me think that's that he's gonna die in his next mission so i really think that he's gonna die i don't know how but it will be pretty interesting to see you know how strong he is you know because he's one of the hashira the only two hashira that we saw fight was giyu and uh, shinobu and they were pretty strong you know so i can't wait to see the flame a hashira fight some of the strongest demons in the world you know so that's gonna be awesome to see Anyway, in the trailer, we got to know a little bit about the story, you know, we already know that the Demon Slayer Corps sent some of their members to that train, you know, to see what's going on because there was people missing, and then the Demon Slayer Corps uh, never heard back from their members, you know, so that's one of the reasons why I think they sent an Ashira in Rengoku, maybe it's just a coincidence, but it seems like this movie is gonna happen on that train, you know, and a demon is responsible for everything that's it, that is happening because there's some people missing there's some demon slayer missing so that's going to be really interesting to see what's going on with all of that you know there was a shot in the trailer with tenjiro as a demon slayer that saw you know his little 
brother and sister you know that was kind of interesting because one of the phrases that we saw on the new key visuals is with your sword put an end to that nightmare you know so it seems like maybe one of the demons power one of the demons de uh, blood demon art is to maybe put people into sleep in, in a nightmare you know it seems maybe it's that i don't really know exactly but it's pretty interesting because tenjo it was able to see you know some of his siblings so it's going to be interesting to see what is the demon blood art you know from that demon because it seems like he's the reason why everybody is dis disappearing or not reappearing you know maybe they're all uh, on that train and because of that demon blood art you know he's able to take his time to he eat them you know so that's gonna be really interesting because man i, I just can't wait the last thing that we're going to talk about from that trailer is that shot right there of Tenjiro surrounded by red flames. You know, the last time that we saw red flames like that is when Tenjiro used Hinokami and um, Nezuko used her blood demon art exploding blood on Rui. You know, that's the last time that we really saw that kind of flame. You know, so it's kind of interesting. Maybe uh, Tenjiro is going to awaken a new power. Maybe it's Rengoku that has red flames around him. You know, I don't know. But uh, that's pretty interesting, you know, because it seems like this is going to be the new power that maybe uh, Tenjiro awakens. So let me know what you thought about that trailer in the comments down below. Let me know what you, you how hype you are for that movie, you know, because it's probably going to get delayed because of the outbreak of the coronavirus you know so we have to see when it's coming out but it's i think it's def definitely coming out in 2020 so but yeah man i do anime reviews during the week like black clover reviews on tuesdays i do tower of gods reviews on wednesdays then i do one piece reviews on saturdays and both on Naruto next generation reviews on sundays so stay tuned for all of that like comment subscribe it would help my channel a lot and Thank you for watching me, man. Follow me at Anime Specialist on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.